Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mike. Welcome to Health Talk by Doc Mike. We are on stream both Facebook and on our YouTube channel. But before anything else, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Health Talk by Doc Mike on our Facebook page and Dr. Mike Manio for our YouTube channel. Our featured medication is all about paracetamol. So we will discuss uses and side effects of paracetamol. This is part of our health promotion and awareness here in Health Talk by Doc Mike. I hope you do like our previous episode regarding the drug simvastatin and mefenamic acid. If you failed to watch those previous episodes, you can always go back to our previous episode in our channel. And I do appreciate all your feedbacks, comments, suggestions, uh, to our channel. Thank you so much for watching our episode always. As I have mentioned, our feature drug is all about the side effects and uses of paracetamol. I think this medication is very familiar to our viewers, particularly to our OFWs and to our mothers out there because this is the most prescribed medications among doctors. Let's begin our discussion. Paracetamol is also known as Panadol. The pharmacologic classification of this medication is an analgesic, that's an anion opioid, and antipyretics. The main content of paracetamol is acetaminophen. And the mechanism of action of this drug, it appears to exert its effect through two mechanisms the inhibition of the cyclooxygenase and the action of its metabolite AM404. It has an analgesia which is produced per both peripherally and centrally, whereas the antipyretic effect is produced centrally by acting on the hypothalamic regulatory center in the brain. The supporting the first mechanism, pharmacologically and in its side effects, paracetamol is close to classical non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or the NSAIDs that act by inhibiting the COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes and specifically similar to the selective COX-2 inhibitors. Paracetamol inhibits the prostaglandin synthesis by reducing the active form of COX-1 and COX-2 enzymes. This occurs when the concentration of the arachidonic acid and peroxidases is low. Under this condition, COX-2 is the predominant form of cyclooxygenase, which may explain the apparent COX-2 selectivity of paracetamol. In certain cases, particularly in inflammation, the concentration of peroxidase is high, which counteracts the reducing effect of paracetamol. The anti-inflammatory action of, of paracetamol is slight. However, the second mechanism of this drug regarding the metabolite AM404, this Metabolites have been detected in the brain of animals and cerebrospinal fluid of humans taking paracetamol. It is formed in the brain from other paracetamol metabolites, the 4-aminophenol, by action of fatty acid amide hydrolase. AM404 is a weak agonist of cannabinoid receptor CB1 and CB2, an inhibitor of the endocannabinoid transporter and a potent activator of TRPV1 receptor. This medication is being taken by mouth and paracetamol is rapidly absorbed from the small intestine while the absorption from the stomach is negligible. Regarding the dosage and directions for use, this medication is usually in the tablet form and it is prescribed by doctors among adults, one to two tablets, 250 or 500 uh, milligrams every four hours or as prescribed by the physician. Maximum dose is about eight tablets in 24 hours. 
In certain cases, this medication is given in a chewable form among children 2 to 12 years old with a computation dose of 10 mg per kilogram per dose. Before taking the medication paracetamol or Panadol, remember that do not use this medication if you are allergic to the component of paracetamol or acetaminophen or patient is or suffering from liver disease or patient have had alcohol or history of alcoholism. Because this medication, paracetamol, among adults, is being used for the following. Relief of pain disorder. So any pain related to headache, dysmenorrhea, musculoskeletal pain, myalgia, toothache, sore throat, migraine, pain associated with flu, and cold, this is also an effective drug for dental work and tooth ex extraction and in teething. Among children, the pharmacologic uses of paracetamol or Panadol is for the reduced children's fever quickly and effectively. Fast relief of pains associated with cold and flu, headache, teething, immunization, and childhood illnesses. This medication is being used after patient has been immunized to maintain a normal temperature or to lower down the elevated body temperature of patient. However, for patient taking this drug, paracetamol or Panadol, remember the side effects. The side effects are as follows. An allergic reaction, which may follow rash and swelling. Flushing. Patient may experience low blood pressure, palpitation of fast heartbeat or tachycardia. This can sometimes happen when paracetamol is given into a vein in your arm. Or some patient may have blood disorders as form of the side effects, such as thrombocytopenia or low number of platelet count. Leukopenia or low number of white blood cells. Or sometimes patient's liver and kidney enzymes are affected, leading to certain damage. Also, for patient taking paracetamol for a long period of time, patient may experience abdominal pain, Steven Johnson syndrome, or toxic epidermal necrolysis. If you can see in the picture, patient with Steven Johnson, so you can see some rashes all over his body. When there's an overlap between toxic epidermal necrolysis, you could see rashes all over the body, and the most toxic among all is the toxic epidermal necrolysis, where there's a generalized rashes all over the body. This is because of the side effect of paracetamol. So be careful among our patient or those individuals taking this medication or having self-medicating using this drug. You need to consult your doctor before taking this medication. Otherwise, you may be prone to have this following side effects. Abdominal pain, Steven Johnson syndrome, or toxic epidermal necrolysis. For patient taking this drug for a long period of time, and for patient taking multiple drugs, doses of this drug, this may lead to toxicity. However, this is extreme uh, cases are extremely rare if you follow the administration and the prescription of your doctor under the recommended dose. Massive overdose of acetaminophen or paracetamol 
may adversely affect the liver of some patient. It will damage the liver, it will elevate your enzyme, leading to liver disease. It is also contraindicates, particularly if you are sensitive or allergic to acetaminophen and its derivatives or any excipients of Panadol. So be careful in taking this drug, paracetamol or Panadol. Always remember for all our viewers and our subscribers, before taking this medication, paracetamol, always consult your doctor. Do not self-medicate because it might lead you to serious side effects. And if you do these side effects, if you experience the side effects that I have mentioned, whether they are in the milder form or the severe form, stop the medication and go to your physician because your physician would know better regarding the side effects, regarding the uses of this drug, paracetamol. Once again, this is Dr. Mike. I hope you did like this episode. I hope you have learned something new in the uses and the side effects of paracetamol or Panadol. Always remember this episode if you are taking this drug. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And do hit that notification bell so that every time that we have a new upload, you will be notified. Once again, this is Dr. Mike. Stay healthy, stay happy, and be nice to all. See you in our next episode regarding amoxicillin. It's another medication that you need to learn. Thank you so much. Once again, this is Dr. Mike.